about my drone. My drone is a wild MPX. In this story, I will be Captain Underpants. This will be Mr. Connecto. <laughs> and this will be Mr. Boyer. Hey! <laughs> the first enemy I faced was named Mr. Gert. Mr. Gert has a backstory. Mr. Gert was a nice boy from Kansas. He enjoyed multiple things, like belly boarding in the snow, and one of his eyes were cockeyed. His real name was Darren Ski. When Mr. Gert was seven years old, he was a great kid, but there was one thing he had pro problems with. Pro producing quality work that was me. His schoolwork was disgusting. It wasn't anything to like what his quality standards should be like. His parents were very disappointed with Mr. Gert. So in return, they threw Mr. Gert in the trash and they disowned him. Mr. Gert had no family but the dumpster. Ever since that day, Mr. Gert's uh, life goal was to make kids have normal schoolwork. He targeted me and I fought Mr. Gert. Which brings me to my first thing, quality and effort. Quality and effort is a big thing. You need to have good quality and effort so you can communicate what you learn and you're able to, and you can show that you understand it and you're able to communicate to communicate it clearly. When I I've always had trouble with producing good quality work. More trouble than all my other classmates. I would put the same amount of effort in, but my quality would become a little bit lower. So I there's only one way for me to produce my quality and make my quality better by putting in more effort and more time. But I have to put more time and effort than other people to, to produce the same good quality. And here's my evidence. Here's the first on the right is an email that Mr. Kaneko, or the alien, wrote to me in response to, to a blog post I wrote in the beginning of the year. He said that my content was good, but it wasn't organized correctly, and my grammar wasn't very good. Here's a, on the left, you see a heartfelt letter from Mr. Kaneko <laughs> saying how it's very well done and how he liked my thoughts and organization. You don't believe me? Here are the two blocks. Here's the one from the beginning of the year. Here's the one from, the, from towards the end of the year. Can't you see the improvement? <laughs> Mr. Gear was defeated. Next we have Captain Me. <laughs> um, before MPS, I did not do group work so much. Whenever we had an option of going with the group or going alone or independent, I would always choose working alone so I could improve on my own independence and I could have total creative freedom with my own um, creativity and I didn't have to worry about other people. But now I know that when you have multiple group members, the product comes out way more higher quality and you have multiple minds working on working. But anyways, let's get back to it. I, I was thinking I'm not like getting in bad situations with my group member because I, I didn't want to act like I wasn't as flexible and lose my patience. And this, uh, this is a mystery me. He has a little backstory. Captain, this is, wasn't based off anyone. I just like, this isn't based off anyone. Captain Mean was a boy who had it rough. After a while of living with his family, when he became an adult, he was thrown on the streets with only a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> Captain Mean's real name was Dom. He got a haircut in his free time and became Captain Mean. He, he, wanted, he wanted everyone to be mean to their teammates and he didn't want any collaboration. He, he wanted me to build a wall between me and my teammates and he wanted to, <laughs> he wanted to prevent me from putting up a bloody word. I realized that you need to have good teamwork and collaboration to put up uh, quality work. In the beginning of the year, I would often lose my patience with my group members. Here's one of my group members. They're my witness. Oh, I can't hear it. Um, Is the volume up on your... Yeah, it's up. What's the time?
I'm in his, my great bud right now. Yeah. When I see him working with other groups, he, he looks like a fine gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Hunter said in his, actually in his presentation, that he didn't really work too much on his imperialism project, and in return, I kind of lost my patience with Tanner. And this wasn't really good because I didn't put, I wasn't empathetic, and I didn't put myself in Tanner's shoes. I also didn't try to be flexible, so I was kind of hard headed, which that's why our imperialism project wasn't as good as we wanted to be. Here is um, another one of my teammates. He worked also worked on me with on my imperialism project, and he worked on my uh, my uh, debate project. And uh, I think that I mean really improved this year on his group work because in the beginning of the year during the Buddhism project he had um, problems with some group members because of our lack of communication and uh, some group members did not do their work. After I worked with him on the project, he really improved and uh, he was able to communicate better and he never really lost his patience and kept it going the entire time. So yeah, as Jared said, I realized that if I did lose my patience and I did, um, used my empathy, flexibility, and communication, we would have good teamwork and we were able to produce better products. On to our next one. Um, oh, Captain Community was defeated. Um, okay, creativity. I always loved trying to be creative and unique and different. But whenever I tried to use my creativity on a product or homework, it would not come out how I wanted it. In turn, I would not get a good grade. So this is like communication of my creativity. I was not able to communicate my creativity in the appropriate way or manner that I would like to communicate. Um, in FTX, you have to be creative and you have to communicate it clearly so you can show that you understand the work and you can um, show your learning and you can actually learn. So being creative in FTX is a big thing. And I was able to make better work once I learned how to use my creativity. My villain here is Uncle Big Mom. He was a bachelor for Uncle Big Bob. He was everyone's uncle. Everyone knew him as his uncle. He was a nice uncle and he cared about his family. But when it came time for Uncle to give gifts, he was never creative with his gift giving. He always gave lame tip gifts like toothbrushes and toasters. And um, he always had writing block or creativity block when he was giving gifts. So everyone just owned him as his uncle. And he just wanted, like ever since then, he just wanted to make sure kids wasn't creative. And he targeted me, and I fought him. Um, my first time creativity was tested in FPS. It was a toothpick tire project. Our group was not very creative with this because we just copied what everyone else did around us, and we didn't win. Our toothpick tower wasn't even the highest. It was like it fell. Um, and now we have Socratic circles. You may think how Socratic circles is creative. For me, Socratic circles you need to be very creative because you need to think of unique questions, and, um, things you need to say in the circle to um, drive the circle and um, display critical thinking. I need to display my critical thinking for unique questions that no one else is free to ask. Um, we also have my debate project. The debate project was very important because we need to think on our feet often. And um, even though I wasn't a rebuttalist, I needed to help my group think on their feet. And I would have to pass notes and I would have to use what, what um, the thoughts that we have gathered research and I'd have to organize it in a creative way that um, that the other team would not be able to rebut and that's actually what happened. Our, our, the other team was um, forced to make false information. <laughs> big block was, um, here, here we have our, our next, um, no, it's, he's TikTok, he's a villain for time management. I've, I've always been the biggest procrastinator I know and probably the biggest procrastinator you know. Um, as, as well. We all have lives and I try to make the best out of my life by having fun at the same, at the same time as have, maintaining a good schoolwork. And I do this by procrastination. This would not always work and this would always, um, most likely, like, always end at a, in a bad place for me. This is TikTok. Um, one time, Miss Napoleon was just busting rhymes and poems um, about time management and she started writing too hard and TikTok came to life. <laughs> <laughs> And, and yeah, this is Ryan, just too mean. And she, he came to life and he uh, he ran around campus now trying to make kids not be good with their time management and procrastinate. Um, my chemistry and conflict project was a good example of time management and improvement. On the chem co pro um, conflict project, we had three drafts. Here's our first draft. Also with the chem con um, chemistry and conflict project, 
we also use um, lots of creativity and we had to we got to um, improve really quickly. This shows improvement. First draft, second draft, and third draft. You can all see our improvement and we all have to get all of this done in a certain timeline. Um, this was exact and it helped a lot. Um, next we have um, TikTok <laughs> with my friend Hayden. Um, then, then we have then we have our last, last person, he's he's the villain for uh, Uh, Richard was defeated. Uh, uh.